So good morning. I am um, Senator Joni Ernst from Iowa, and we will meet today to receive testimony from Special Operations Command, or uh, SOCOM, senior leaders on efforts to transform the Special Operations Force for future security challenges. I believe this is the first time we've had all of our SOCOM component commanders before this committee, and we welcome you gentlemen here. Um, I would like to introduce all of you um, very briefly, and then I'll make some opening statements. Um, Senator Heinrich will also make some opening statements before we begin with your testimony. Um, we have with us Lieutenant General Scott A. Howell, United States Air Force, Vice Commander, United States Special Operations Command. Thank you, sir. Lieutenant General Kenneth E. Tovo, United States Army, Commanding General, United States Army Special Operations Command. Lieutenant General Marshall B. Webb, United States Air Force, Commander, USAF Special Operations Command. Rear Rear Admiral Timothy G. Szymanski, United States Navy, Commander, Naval Special Warfare Command, and Major General Carl E. Mundy III, United States Marine Corps, Commander, Marine Corps Special Operations Command. Gentlemen, again, want to thank you very much for being here today. The National Defense Strategy reoriented the way the Department of Defense prioritizes its efforts in an increasingly complex and dangerous global security environment. A rising China and an increasingly belligerent Russia are now the department's top strategic priorities, while Iran, North Korea, and countering violent extremism remain enduring lines of effort. Over the last 16 plus years, SOCOM has largely focused its efforts on executing its role as a leader in the global counterterrorism fight. As a result, SOCOM's organization, tactics, techniques, procedures, and its development of capabilities has reflected this mission set. While it's clear that counterterrorism will remain a persistent mission of SOF, the severity of the threat posed by China, Russia, and other adversarial nation states demand increased attention by our nation's most agile and innovative force to ensure they're postured to fight and win. In testimony earlier this year before this committee, General Tony Thomas, commander of SOCOM, stated that, quote, as we focus on today's operations, we must be equally focused on required future transformation. SOF must adapt, develop, procure, and field new capabilities in the interest of continuing to be a unique, lethal, and agile part of the joint force of tomorrow, end quote. In particular, he identified emerging technologies such as, quote, cyber, next generation, low observable infiltration platforms, airborne high energy laser applications, automation, and machine learning as capabilities key to future success on the battlefield. I look to our witnesses to describe what they're doing to support General Thomas's transformation priorities, as well as implement the new national defense strategy. Specifically, I want our witnesses to provide their assessment assessment of the future operating environment likely to confront their forces as well as provide a description of what they are doing to ensure their forces are organized, trained, and equipped to succeed. With that, Senator Heinrich. <laughs> 